All right, so this question I'm gonna answer for you guys is what is the bare bones effective strategy of digital marketing? I want you to first comment below, what is the one tactic or strategy that you are using in your business right now that you find the most success with or result? Or any questions or insights that you have based on this question before you watch this video. So I want you to comment below, let me know. What are the bare bone basics of an effective digital marketing strategy? So the bare bone basis of effective digital marketing strategy goes on three folds. This is the same three principles I'm about to share with you. Well, first of all, I want you to comment below and let me know what do you think in your mind today is the bare bone basics of a digital marketing strategy? Do you think it's Facebook ads? Do you think it's sales funnels? Do you think it's digital advertising? Do you think it's a, some social platform? Like what is the trend that you think is it? I want you guys to comment below and let me know or what's working for you. Any questions that you have as you're watching this video. Now let's go into it. So. The bare bone basics of an effective digital marketing strategy ties into three core things. I share this with companies that are doing and just starting out, let's say doing zero revenue or their startup, to even businesses that are doing $100 million. These are the only three principles of a bare bone digital marketing strategy. The only way to grow a business is you need traffic. You need actual people to notice about your business, pay attention to your business, and follow you to be able to grow your business. The second thing is once you have their attention, their focus on your business, and they're visiting you, then you'll be able to convert that into leads. Now leads is basically a fancy way of saying you need to have that communication channel established with that specific audience. So whoever you're selling to, the fitness space, the mom space, the business community, you want to establish communication distribution channels to be able to effectively influence them, you know, send them value, add value, build that relationship. And that's what you do through emails. You do through messenger marketing, you probably heard of right now when you go on chatbots, or you go on LinkedIn messenger campaigns, or you do Facebook, messaging campaigns or any on any platform. The social platforms are powerful because they give you a, a way to distribute your message with your target audience. That's the most important thing as the second point. The third point is revenue, right? Sales. How do you convert your traffic, your leads into actual revenue, profits, and cash flow in your business? You want to be able to turn that into three types of revenue. New revenue, new customers in your business, ascension revenue, Customers that are existing with you and they upgrade or buy more of your products or services or complementary things that fit within your business uh, product line extension or service line extension. And the third thing is the reoccurring revenue. You want people that are buying your product not just the first time, but you want them to buy with you over and over again. So those are the three things they want to focus on is how to generate more traffic, get people to go into your business, they pay attention to your ABC company, they pay attention to your brand, they consume your content, they join your email list, they join your messenger, they join your LinkedIn or if you're in B2B or they join your Facebook group and they're saying, hey, I wanna start that communication process with you. I wanna learn more about your business and how you can solve my problems and provide me with the result that I want and then I'm willing to actually take my hard-earned money out and then spend it with your business and actually pay 20, 50, 100,000, 2,000, whatever amount your product or service costs and then they're willing to pay that into your business. I think the biggest principle that you can get from this is that when you actually put uh, a disproportionate amount of value with your target audience and you build that up, then you're gonna be able to actually put more in the bank for them to invest in with you. So think about this. Every time you give them a piece of content, you add value to them, the most effective strategy is this. You actually deposit money in their, what I call the value account. Now the value account, when you send them a video, when you send them a piece of content, when they watch your, when they read your guide, when they attend your webinar, when they learn about your branding and all this stuff, you're depositing value in your target audience's bank account. And then when it comes time to transact, let's say, or start that buying relationship and they're willing to spend money with you, they're much more likely to spend money with you with you added so much more value to them. That's why content is such a very important play for every business. You wanna figure out what is the best way, what is the value I'll give you an important question. What is the value that makes the difference to your target audience? It's a very important question. What is the value that makes a difference to your target audience? Deliver that to them. And as you deliver it to them, keep delivering, keep delivering. And over time, they're going to reciprocate that and they're going to buy from you. Because 80 percent, 60 to 80 percent, let's say, of your target audience are not going to buy from you the first time they see your message. You need that frequency and that multiple touch points between one, two, three, four, five, eight to 10 touch points that are value oriented touch points to make a difference. I think that's a fundamental principle. It doesn't matter what business you're in, B2C, B2B, multiple audiences, product or services, it doesn't matter. It's all about how much value you add to your target audience, how you increase the traffic leads and sales. And over time, the majority of that market 
100,000 people that are finding about you, millions of people are finding out about you, how do you maximize on every single person instead of just the five to 10%, I'd say the 5% that are looking for your products or services right now that wanna buy from you. Focus on a long-term strategy and that's the most important thing. So thanks for watching this video. I want you to comment below if you got insights from this thing, what questions you have, uh, what is one thing that you learned from this video? How do you plan to add value to your target audience? What piece of content do you want to create? Anything, you comment below. I just want to hear from you guys. The second thing I want you to like this video. Third thing is I want you guys to subscribe and hit that bell icon because when you guys do that, you get notifications on future videos just like this and also digital secrets and any videos that are being released to you guys. So thanks for watching this. As usual, I appreciate you guys' time and attention and I will see you guys in the next video.